Well, Paul, it's just over a month now. Uh, no, it's actually, it's a bit more, isn't it? I'm thinking December the 13th. Six, seven weeks we've got. Seven weeks yesterday it was. Right. So how serious camp's obviously underway now. What would you normally do for a fight like this in terms of how many weeks? Um, so we've got just touching seven weeks now, so we are full throttle in camp. Um, I have been for a few weeks now. We've, we've probably had like a 12 week 12. training camp, even though I was in previous to that. Um, but camp's really been intense probably for, for about five weeks now. Um, we're at a good stage. Um, very good pads today with Scott. Mm. Uh, sparring started, so everything's, everything's going to plan. Everything's looking good. And it is, it's the ultimate challenge, isn't it? I mean, there's, there's plenty of belts on the line now. You've got a belt of your, your, your own. Yeah. You, you know, I wouldn't say you're the comeback kid, but obviously doing what you did has yeah. put you right back there. How do you, how do you view this challenge now? Because obviously you know a lot of people are going to be saying, well, he's going in the lion's den, he's yeah. got no chance and blah, blah, blah. What, what's your head telling you? I love all that. Um, I, I've always loved it. Uh, I've always been that person that, that thrives under pressure. I love going into the lion's den. Um, I love boxing in the other kids' backyard. Um, it is a tough task, like you say. I, I'm not daft, I'm not deluded. Um, I believe it's the toughest task in boxing. You go through all the weights, look at Spence and Crawford. Everyone's Spence, I'm Crawford. Mm. I, don't, I don't know anyone out there, out, out of the boxing pundits, out of the boxing world that, that says our bantamweight in that division can beat in a way. Um, so I believe it's the toughest task in boxing. And, and it's a it's a task that that I asked for. It weren't exa it weren't exactly like I I won the title and said I'll have that defence that defence. Mm. Oh, and then I'll go for it away. I've uh, I've run towards this challenge. Yeah, there's some similarities to when Crawler took the Lomachenko fight in, in many ways. It was you know again that was a guy that was perceived untouchable really in that division. But you know you've got to accept these challenges when you when you when you're world champions, haven't you? Yeah. There's no two ways about it. When they're presented to you, you you've got to you've got to you've got to take these challenges. Um, it's the same as challenging for a world title if you get off of the world title. Um, sometimes they don't come round very often, and and this fight probably wouldn't have got probably wouldn't have occurred to us again. So it it was a fight that that we actually reached out for first. Um, we said we wanted to fight as soon as we knew we'd beat Don Air. Um, I was on Zoom calls, I was on FaceTimes to loads of people and um, they, were, they were saying, would you be interested in it? It's the fight I want. It's not mm -hmm. the fight that I hope I can get, it's the fight I want next, definitely. Million, million dollar question then. What do you do with a fella that's got that kind of freaky power? I mean, how do you prepare for him? He's got two arms, two legs, mate. He's exactly like me. Power don't scare me. I've been stopped before. Um, it doesn't frighten me in the slightest. So I'm going to go in there with a game plan and hopefully my game plan comes off. It's going to be some experience as well, isn't it? I mean, you know, obviously you're a top amateur and you've, mm. you've done it all really as a pro, but bo boxing in Tokyo against this fella is going to be something else. I mean, yeah. what, are you, what are you expecting of the trip and the whole occasion? Um. I think I think the atmosphere on the night will be a little bit different to what I've boxed for mm. before. Um, boxing at the Echo, in Manchester, in Newcastle, wherever I've been, there's always been a big atmosphere. It doesn't look like the atmosphere is that great there. It looks like it's a lot of clapping, not much <laughs> cheering and, and screaming. Um, like a German crowd. Yeah, <laughs> very much like a German crowd, yeah. Um, so the, the very respectful people. Mm. Um, so I should imagine it'll be a little bit different to what, to what I've boxed in front of before, but I'm taking my crowd over and I'm sure they'll be making a little bit of noise from wherever they are settled in that stadium. I was just going to ask you that because it's not an easy trip to make. It's right no. near Christmas as well. Everyone's having a tough time at the minute. So you're going to yeah. bring a few with you? Yeah, I'm taking about 30, 40 over with me. Wow. Um, and I'm sure they'll be, they'll be very loud on the night, which I'm very thankful for. That's, for that's a great effort, that, in fairness. It, it is, yeah. Considering we're, we're so close to Christmas, yeah. loads of them have got families. Um, everyone knows what's going on in the world at the moment with price mm. of bill, bills going up and, and, and everything. So I am very thankful to, to all them and hopefully I can repay them with, mm. with a win over there and be undisputed champion. How long are you going to get out there ahead of the fight? How, how long are you going to give yourself? Days, 10 days okay. before... Um, Obviously, to get used to the time difference, I think they're eight hours mm. in front, I think, or nine hours. Um, so that'll take some some getting used to, I should imagine, three, four, five days maybe. Um, and obviously, I'm going to be training as well. So, um, yeah, it should take some getting used to, but I'm there for long enough. 
It is such an incredible place. Are you going to give yourself any time after to maybe have a, a mooch about? Probably, yeah. I'll probably make that decision while I'm over there, though. Yeah. Um, I, like, if I want to extend me, me flight for a few more days, I probably will. Um, all depending on how things go over there. And at your stage of the, of the career now as well, you, this isn't a cash-out fight as, as far as you're concerned anyway. I mean, I, I know that it doesn't matter what other people are saying, you, you're yeah. fully convinced it's going to be your night, you're going to shock the world, 100%. which is, again, we've seen it happen, we've seen it happen, yeah. but it'd be right up there with UK fighters. I mean, people will talk about the Lloyd Honigan kind mm. of effect and whatever, it would be, it'd be bigger than that really, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's the, it's the biggest, yeah. it'd be the biggest win, I believe, in, in UK history, flying somewhere else and beating a pound for pound great like like a new way. Um it'd be a massive scalp. But it it's one that like you say, I'm not cashing out. I'm I'm probably not mm. even getting half the money that I actually wanted. I'm getting good money, but not the money I, I actually wanted. Right. Um so it just proves that I do want the fight. Um because the money we did ask for first got pushed away. Um they made an offer negotiations, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Um it took time. It took a while to, to get over the line, but big contracts and big fights do, so we're happy with what we've got. Um, I'm happy I'm fighting for all, all, all the belts to be undisputed champion. That's the main thing, um, and the money's a bonus. So if you get your arm raised at the end of the night and you've got all the belts, will that be better than seeing a couple of the kids that you train at Wirral CP Boxing Club win, win their little titles? Because I know how passionate you are about the amateurs. <laughs> yeah, it would probably just top that a little bit. <laughs> um, but I do, I do... Uh, I do love watching the kids win a contest and we've got our first club show on Friday, which I'm looking forward to as well. All the best with that and good luck in, in Japan. Cheers, mate. Thank you.